Year 7 Substitution into Expressions and Formulae. We're going to start with a very quick starter activity. True or false? Look at each of these statements. If you think the answer to the question is true, write down true. If you think it's false, write down false. But if it is false, what would be the correct answer? Or is it not possible to write down a correct answer? Have a think about this, pause the video, and then unpause when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, so example one, that is indeed false. These are unlike terms. We could say 5a plus 7a equals 12a, but we cannot actually simplify 5a plus 7 at the moment. So this is indeed false. Number two, 10p take away p equals 10. That is indeed false as well. 10p take away p is actually equal to 9p. Number three, 8b take away 8 is equal to b, also false. This doesn't simplify. These are unlike terms, 8b and 8. We cannot just wipe off the 8 and say we're left with b. It doesn't work like that. Number four, false, because these are unlike terms. Now, if we had little m plus little m, that would indeed equal 2m, but we have to treat capital M and lowercase m as different types of term. Number five, also false. If we had a plus a, that would equal 2a. But as we are dealing with a multiplied by a, that equals a squared. So this is indeed false as well. Now, number six, p plus q equals q plus p. That is true. Addition is commutative. We can add these terms in either order. Number seven, fg equals gf, also true, multiplication is commutative, we can multiply these terms in either order. Number 8, however, is indeed false, a take away b is not the same as b take away a. Think about 10 take away 3, that is 7, but if you change the order, 3 take away 10 is negative 7, so it doesn't actually work. So, moving on to the main activity for today's lesson, we are looking at the process of substitution. So you need to know that A, the letter A, is going to take the value 2, the letter B is going to take the value 3, and the letter C is going to take the value 5. And what we're going to do is substitute these numbers into each of these expressions to evaluate what they're equal to for these particular values. So number 1, 4a means 4 lots of a or 4 times a, but we know a is equal to 2 in our example. So this gives us 4 times 2, which is 8. So substitution means we are replacing the letter with its numerical value and then performing the appropriate calculation. So we have 6b take away 7, so that's 6 multiplied by b, which is 3, minus 7, and we simply work it out following our laws of bid mass. So 18 take away 7, this gives us an answer of 11. Number 3, we have 5 lots of c, which is 5 times 5, plus 2 lots of b, which is 2 times 3, then take away the 3. So evaluating each part, that is 25 plus 6 minus 3, and that comes to an answer of 28. Number four involves a bracket. Let's evaluate this. We have four lots of 2a. Well, 2a is 2 times 2, and then plus the b value, which is 3. So that is 4 multiplied by 4 plus 3. Bid mass tells us brackets first, so that's 4 times 7, which is 28. Now, there isn't much room for 5, 6, and 7 on the bottom left, so we'll move up over here. Number five is 2c squared. Now, bid mass, indices first before the multiplication. So we need to make sure we do c squared before we multiply by the value of 2. So absolutely essential, we do c squared first of all. So this is two lots of the value of c, which is 5 squared. So that is two lots of 25, which is 50. Number six, we have two lots of c minus a all squared in the question. So let's substitute into the values inside the bracket. So that's two lots of five minus two all squared, which is two lots of three squared. 
and bid mass again tells us do the squaring first, so that's two lots of nine, which is a t. And to finish this off, number seven, 4c plus 2c over a. Well, we could simplify the numerator first of all. 4c plus 2c is the same as 6c. So this is 6 times c over a. So that's 6 multiplied by 5, all divided by a, which is 2. So that's 30 divided by 2, which is 50. So as well as substituting into expressions, we can also substitute into formulae. So have a look at these. Now these are formulae rather than expressions because they involve an equal sign and you will always see that in a formula it allows you to calculate the value of something. So this formula here allows us to calculate the value of p. Now again we're using three letters a which is equal to 2, b which is equal to 3 and c which is equal to 4. Let's start with part one. We're working out p which is five lots of a so that's 5 lots of 2 plus a value of 6. So that's 10 plus 6 or 16. Now the second formula allows us to calculate a value v and that's simply equal to b squared. So that's negative 3 squared which is 9. Now make sure you are clear on that. Negative 3 squared means negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 and we know a negative multiplied by a negative gives us a positive answer. Number three, q is equal to the square root of c squared, well that's 4 squared, plus 9. So that is the square root of 16 plus 9. Remember we've got to do this part here under the square root sign, which means we square 4 first to give us 16 and then add the 9 and then square root. So that's the square root of 25, which we can say is 5. Number four, m is equal to 2 times a, which is 2, times b, which is negative 3, times c, which is 4. Just read left to right. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And negative 12 times 4 is negative 48. And then the last one, w is equal to 5 lots of c. So that's 5 times 4 all divided by a, which is 2, and then add the b, which is negative 3. So deal with this part by part. So let's deal with this first of all. 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. So that's 20 over 2. And then adding negative 3 is the same as subtracting 3. So this is 10, take away 3, leaving us with an answer of 7. So now you've got an individual task from the textbook, pages 118 and 119. You're going to work through exercises 4M and 4E. Here are the answers for you to check your work as you go along. Write down the question in each case. Write down your substitution. So show how you are replacing the letters in each expression or formula with the numerical values that you've been given. Evaluate each of these and show your working or calculations as you get to the final answer. Do not use a calculator for this. If you go wrong, mark it as wrong, go back, do your corrections and make sure you get to the correct answer. If anybody completes all the tasks and gets to the end and has corrected and made any corrections that need to be done, there is a little extension activity that you can have a go at the bottom of this page.